Hi everyone, I am Alina, a Webflow developer in SOMO, and today I will go you through Schema Markup, a key tool for enhancing your website's SEO. I will show you how to implement Schema Markup in Webflow using JSON-LD and Microdata. Schema Markup is a structured data added to your website's HTML. It helps search engines like Google, Bing, and Yahoo better understand your content. The structured data plays a crucial role in SEO because it improves how search engines interpret your content, increasing the chance of your site appearing as a rich snippet in search result. Ultimately, this boosts visibility, user engagement, and click-through rates. Let's head over to the Google Search Gallery for structured data. Here you will find various schema types that can improve how your content is displayed in search results. For example, let's explore the FAQ page schema. I will select FAQ and you will see detailed guidance on how this particular structured data works. It provides instruction on how to properly implement the FAQ page schema on your website, allowing frequently asking questions to be displayed directly in search results. JSON-LD involves placing a script tag in your page's head or body element. Inside the script, you add name-value pairs to define the properties you want to use and their corresponding values. It is the most common method. First, you need to prepare the correct JSON-LD code for your site. Typically, an SEO specialist provides the appropriate schema based on your content and SEO goals. You can also generate this using tools like schema.org. Google Structure Data Markup Helper or an online JSON LD generator. Open the page where you want to add structured data. In this example, I will be using a blog post template from CMS collection. Click on the page settings button, scroll down to the head section field. Paste your JSON LD code into the field. To dynamically populate the schema with data from your CMS collection, click Add Field. Select the corresponding CMS field for each schema property. This ensures that the schema will automatically pull the relevant data from your CMS content, updating dynamically as you publish new content. Next, I will guide you through how to add schema.org microdata in Webflow. We will apply custom attributes directly to the elements within the collection list. In this case, I have selected the FAQ schema as the example because my questions are managed in a, a separate CMS and linked to the post using a multi-reference field. First, start by selecting the collection list wrapper. Here we are going to add two attributes, item scope and item type. This tells the search engines that this section is FAQ page. Next, move to the collection item. You will add item scope, item type and item probe. This step defines each question as an entity within the FAQ. Now, for the question text block, simply add item probe. This specifies that the text is the name of the question. After that, go to the answer wrapper div. Here you will add item scope, item type and item probe. This signals that the content inside is the accepted answer to the question. Finally, for the answer text block, you just need to add item probe. This marks the actual answer content. To ensure that your schema markup is functioning correctly, I highly recommend validating it at different stages. 
During development, use the schema markup validator to check that your structured data follow proper standards. Once your page are visible in Google, use the Google Reach Result Test to verify how your structured data is appearing in search results. This schema markup testing tool will help you catch potential errors earlier and ensure that your content displays properly in search engines, maximizing your website visibility. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye!